Hi parents, good afternoon. My name is Ms. Carrasco. I am your child's reading teacher for sixth grade and I wanted to share with you tonight a little bit about what we do. We read the book The Outsiders and usually I do this on a jam board but I was able to put it in a google slide so you could see the things we do. On jam board they would be each individually divided into a page and each child would write their own definition, the root word, the part of speech and their diff and the suffix and how the word is pronounced. And then we go on to the next page where we have a skim and scam that they tell me, I'll put pictures for them, they'll tell me, I noticed, I wonder, I think. And then we make a prediction about what the text will be about concerning those pages. Um, we also talk about the main idea, what is the story mostly about, what is it mainly about, who or what are we talking about. And there's times I'll give them a little summary to write about. Uh, they tell me who it was about, what it involved, where was the setting. They'll give me the plots using the plot diagram as well. And today I'm just going to read you just a little bit about chapter one from The Outsiders. I'm very happy that the district decided to purchase the textbook we're using because this book came back into adoption as part of one of our chapter books to read. Chapter one, when I stepped out into the bright sunlight from the darkness of the movie house, I had only two things on my mind, Paul Newman and a ride home. I was wishing I'd look like Paul Newman. He looks tough and I don't, but I guess my own looks aren't so bad. I have light brown, almost red hair and greenish gray eyes. I wish they were more gray because I hate most eyes most guys that have green eyes but I have to be content with what I have my hair is longer than a lot of boys wear theirs squared off in the back and longer at the front and sides but I am a greaser and most of my neighborhood rarely bothers to get a haircut besides I look better with long hair I had a long walk home and no company but I usually loan it anyway for no reason except that I like to watch movies undisturbed so I can get into them and live them with the actors. When I see a movie with someone, it's kind of uncomfortable, like having someone read your book over your shoulder. I'm different that way. I mean, my second oldest brother, Soda, who is 16 going on 17, never cracks a book at all. And my oldest brother, Daryl, who we call Derry, works too long and hard to be interested in a story or drawing a picture. So I'm like, I'm not like them. And nobody in our gang digs movies and books the way I do. For a while there, I thought I was the only person in the world that did. So I loaned it. Soda tries to understand at least which is more than Derry does. But then Soda is different from anybody. He understands everything almost, like he's never hollering at me all the time the way Derry is, or treating me as if I was six instead of 14. I love Soda more than I've ever loved anyone, even mom and dad. He's always happy-go-lucky and grinning while Derry's hard and firm and rarely grins at all. But then, Derry's gone through a lot in his 20 years, grown up too fast. Soda Pop and I'll never grow up at all. I don't know which way's the best. I'll find out one of these days. Anyway, I went on walking home, thinking about the movie, and then suddenly wishing I had some company. Greasers can't walk alone too much or they'll get jumped. Or someone will come by and scream, Greaser! at them, which doesn't make you feel too hot, if you know what I mean. We get jumped by the socius. I'm not sure how you spell it, but it's the abbreviation for the socials, the jet set, the West Side rich kids. It's like a term greaser, which is used to class all us boys on the East Side. We're poorer than the socius and the middle class. I reckon we're wilder too. Not like the socials who jump greasers and wreck houses and throw beer blasts for kicks and get editorials in the paper for being a public disgrace one day and an asset to society the next. 
Greasers are almost like hoods. We steal things and drive old souped up cars and hold up gas stations and have a gang fight once in a while. I don't mean I do things like that. Jerry would kill me if I got into trouble with the police. Since mom and dad were killed in an auto wreck, the three of us get to stay only as long as we behave. Get to stay together only as long as we behave. So Soda and I stay out of trouble as much as we can, and we're careful not to get caught when we can't. I only mean that most greasers do things like that, just like we wear our hair long and dress in blue jeans and T-shirts, or leave our shirt tails out and wear leather jackets and tennis shoes or boots. I'm not saying that either socials or greasers are better. That's just the way things are. And I'll stop there, and I'll let you all enjoy the rest of the book. But this is pretty much how I teach the children in reading and how to make connections, because making connections and skimming and scamming books is something we do, and understanding the vocabulary is also a very important key factor for them to understand what they're reading, along with identifying the main idea. We... I tend to add more to this um, matrix as I read books to them, and I could change my main idea to my opinion, a fact or detail. Um, I can change it to uh, building a summary. And these are ideas, this is just an idea of what I do with them in class. I hope you enjoyed the book. And I hope you're willing to take a chance and read it again. Thank you very much.